In Los Angeles tonight, a man is in custody facing a charge of murder after allegedly driving a car into a crowd of people enjoying themselves on the boardwalk in the popular Venice Beach area. A woman on her honeymoon was killed and 11 others were injured. NBC's Miguel Almaguer is there with the latest. Miguel. Lester, good evening. On a summer weekend, this boardwalk is packed with thousands of people. It was a similar scene here yesterday when that car slammed into that group of pedestrians, including that woman who was here on her honeymoon. Security cameras capture the moment of impact. Look closely at the top of the screen as a car plows through the crowd. Just moments earlier, the driver is seen entering the car, then speeding away. A second camera shows pedestrians leaping for their lives. We have the critical patient. We need a driver. Chaos and panic ensue. At least a dozen people were struck by a driver who witnesses say appeared to be aiming for the crowd. Victims strewn everywhere. And one of the medics from 67 working on the critical patient. The scene was really bad. There was tables, there was people everywhere, blood everywhere. There was scattered stuff. It was horrible. A 32-year-old Italian woman visiting California while on her honeymoon was killed. And I saw a girl go over his roof and another girl then ended up over there. Another victim is in critical condition. Ten others hospitalized. We'll never gonna forget that moment. It was surreal. He was zigzagging and I ran. Hours later, the damaged sedan was found abandoned. Investigators say a 35-year-old man turned himself into police late Saturday night. Detectives have booked Nathan Campbell for the murder that took place last night. The Venice Boardwalk is one of Southern California's most popular attractions. The famed Muscle Beach and miles of coastline, an international draw. Tonight, the crowds are back, as many remember the victims, and police look to answer the question so many here are asking, why? Tonight, the outpouring of support is coming in from around the globe. AC Milan, one of the world's most famous soccer clubs, has expressed its condolences for the 32-year-old newlywed who was killed here. Her father was a former team executive. Lester. All right, Miguel, thank you.